Hey guys. Oh, I forgot my headphones again. Um, I was going to show y'all the make-off wipes and then um, different ways to apply the foundation because um, I've had a couple of people request um, different application techniques. So I'm just going to um, reach down and get my make-off wipes just in a second. They got moved. <laughs> hmm. Okay. I don't know where they are. Um, let me see. Hi, David. <laughs> I, these are not the ones I already had open, so, I don't know, I guess they grew legs and walked off, hey Misty, what's up girl, hmm, what have y'all been doing? You have a good first week of 2019. Here they are. <laughs> they were in my go bag from when we went to Memphis earlier this week. Have everybody else had a crazy week like we did? I um, I'll tell you all about it. Um. See, Monday was the 30th. We let's see, it was Jerry's last day of work at uh, Dirt Cheap, and then we loaded up in the car and hey, Kendra, and then we uh, drove to Memphis, which is if you stop four times like we did, um, about five hours, and then. Uh, we spent the night, um, I got up the next day and spent the day with, uh, some family there. We went to the Bass Pro Shop, which was cool, and then, uh, hung out, played some games, and then we came back home, um, on New Year's Day, and then the next day was Ray Lynn's birthday. And then, of course, we had to unpack everything and get resituated and in Bible class. And we took Raylan out for her birthday and then uh, sang happy birthday and gave her her presents. And um, that's just till Wednesday. So this is the makeup wipe. It's, uh, it's made especially for your face, obviously. No, I'm not pressing hard. I'm just wiping. Um, let's see what else did we do Thursday? Oh, yeah, Jerry started work on Wednesday at Jones. Started his new job, and we thought, hey, we'll just use the suburban. Of course, it wouldn't start, so he took my car. Because it was running, and uh, um, it's, it's been raining nonstop all week, um, so he couldn't get the battery, you know, charged up until yesterday. And he finally got the battery charged up, and. See, I want to invite somebody. How do I do that? Invite. Invite. Um, I don't know. I'm supposed to do that on the first screen, aren't you? Okay. Hmm. That's not it. Sorry guys, I don't mean to tilt you around like that. Um, let's see, maybe I can tag them like this. 
No, it's not lit. Oh, there it is. Boom. Okay. Okay, so anyway. Let's see. I don't know if y'all can see that. That's why it's got off. And I've just done, you know, a little wipe. It's not overly moisture and it's not overly soapy. And I'm just going to do that for now. I'd show you my eye makeup remover, but, um, well, I guess I can anyway. I'll do that. It's really good at taking off eye makeup. One swipe. Two swipes. No harsh pulling or tugging, just go across. Four swipes. You can see the difference from this eye and this eye. Five swipes. And like I said, I was just mainly wanting to show the different techniques. Um, some people were wanting to know what they could do to keep make from separating. Um, from the research that I've done, um, the makeup separates when you've applied. Um, uh, there's too much oil or moisturizer. Um, also, if your sponge is too wet. If you're using a beauty sponge like the Blenderful, what you really want to do is, um, of course, you want to run it under the water. And this is already done that. That's why it's so big. Hi, Kelly. Um, you squeeze it under the water. Um, let it get all wet. And then squeeze it out as much as you can. And until dry it if you have to, but you don't want it dripping wet. Um, I've also seen where people will just take a little um, spray bottle, a spritzer, um, and just dampen it that way. But um, what I do is, um, I've, I don't um, wash my face in the mornings, I only wash it at night, and I have oily skin uh, most of the time. And um, so when I get up and I'm ready to put my makeup on, I just put the primer on. And then if you're going to use the sponge, like I said, you squeeze it under the water and then uh, wring it out. Um, squeeze it as hard as you can and get all the moisture out you can. But you want it damp and that's what makes it big like this. It was the same size as this one to start out with. And this is the Blenderful from Lime Life, and it is um, it's twenty two dollars um, bought by itself. And it comes in this little case. You can put it in to keep your um, sponge clean and all your other things clean from your sponge. You want to wash this at least once a week with the um, shampoo. But this is what you can do. You're just gonna one, two, three. And a little bit about the um, foundation, just dab it on with a little twist, is the foundation is very highly pigmented, okay? It's like 50% pigmentation. And a lot of the um, high-end foundations that you're going to see, um, a lot of times are only about 28, 18% pigmented. So this is um, really good high coverage foundation. Now did y'all see that? I had some blemishes here. You just dab it on like this and twist. And three twists on here is all I had. Can you tell? And I've already got, you know, half my face done. Okay, and you can use this part here if you're going to put it under your eye. I prefer not to. <coughs> Excuse 
Excuse me. Also, it's my personal foundation, so I'm going to use my fingers. If you're in a cold climate, since this is wax based, what you want to do is warm it up a little bit first. And you can just do that with your fingers. If you don't have a sponge or brush or anything else, this works really well too. Um, do you see how much that is? doesn't take much at all to cover a lot of area. And if you're trying to cover up um, redness or you know textured skin, say you have some acne or dry skin, this is a really good method to do that with your fingers. If you don't need a lot of coverage, another great way is to mix your foundation with your uh, One Drop Wonder or Must Do to add more moisture and it helps spread it out and thin it out so you don't have, a um, little bit goes a long way and you don't have as full a coverage if you don't need it. If you've got really good, you know, nice smooth skin and it's all evenly toned, you can do that. So that's just a finger method. You just, you know, you apply it with your fingers. I don't know how to describe that. And then the method is to use brush. And currently this is my favorite method. And I just twist that on there. And go in little circles. And it buffs it on. And you just go in little circles. <laughs> you can put makeup on and go to bed. <laughs> I'm doing a live video tutorial. Right now? Yes. Say hi to Facebook. Hi, Facebook. <laughs> Little circles. Can you shut the door, please? Okay, you don't want to press it really hard like this. That's not get doing it correctly. <laughs> don't throw your brush around. Okay. <clears throat> and if you're like me and you have to lighten it up because you have fair skin and don't hold it down, using porcelain color. <laughs> and... Lighten it up here and around this part. This is and then just keep going and blend it up. I am very fair skinned, I have very fair colors. I also have dark colors, and um, if you're really good. You can play with the blending into darkers. I have not achieved that skill level yet. That's okay. Okay, so and I just learned this method, so I'm going to share that with you too. You can also use your damp blenderful to apply your setting powder or perfect powder. I've heard it called both. So, Lauren, if you're watching this, yes, it's, I guess it's setting powder too. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to use this part here. They said that um, this is really good for the oily skin types. If you have just a little bit of um, oily skin in certain areas, like the T-zone, and you don't want to put powder all over your face. You're basically just doing the same thing you did with your foundation, which is to, she said pounce, pounce is a good word, bounce it off and twist. The twisting helps it get into the pores so that it all looks even. You don't want it sitting on top of your skin so it will separate later. 
Okay. So I just apply that to my nose and cheeks and then um, the chin area. I get a lot of oil, but I have bangs. You can do it over here if you want to. Okay, you can also use a brush. I use this one and this one. It just depends on, you know, what you want. Hey, Megan, how are you? I haven't seen you in a while. This is um, me applying a translucent powder. Normally, I put in the um, bronzer and blush first, but I was excited to show that method. Hi, Rebecca! Um, about using the blenderful to apply the powder. I'd never done that before. And of course, I usually do the Jacob method of putting the bronzer on first and then uh, spraying with finishing spray. I'm doing things a little bit out of order. I think sometime I'm going to try to do my eyeshadow first and see how that turns out. I feel that's the thing to do now. So this is the bronzer. Perfect bronzer. Like I said, there's other colors of bronzer and I haven't tried them yet. Okay, this one is for Tony. and I'm going to comment Tony on here so that she knows that I am doing what she requested. Tony, there you are. Okay, this is blush number three. Okay, I usually wear, I think it's, um, it's this one here, so you can see the difference. It's just what I keep in my palette. You can also use your wonderful to, oh, y'all are crooked again, to um, apply your blush. Now, I had, um, I had a lady come in and ask me if I'd ever used my fingers to apply brush, blush. I've never done that, but um, she did it really well. So uh, what I'm going to do is use a different part of the wonderful. You want to keep it on your jawline, I mean your uh, cheekbone. And you don't want to come too close to your nose. I said um, two fingers. I'm going to spread that out a bit. Yeah, that's not too bad. I kind of like that. I'm going to put that into the rotation. So this is blush number three. I think very cute. Might be my new winter blush. I like it. What do you think? I thought you can also use this angled brush. Works really well for blush. And of course. All of our makeup is buildable and highly pigmented, which is, it is such a good value. A little bit lasts you a long time. Okay, that is blush number three, guys. Uh, the perfect blushes, I think, are $22 a piece, I think. Okay, so after I've done that, I'm going to put on another layer of powder. And this helps to set everything. And it doesn't have to be thick. Hey, Tony, I just did the blush. Blush number three, what do you think? And... I have found that uh, using the powders really helps to absorb 
any excess moisture that might be trying to get through on your skin. If you um, have oil, and a moisturizer, and it's going to cause your makeup to separate, combining the oils and the moisture, um, your skin oils, and then them not being able to get out. So, um, you if you're going to wash your face in the mornings, you probably should use a moisturizer. But um, make sure you're using the powders and the primers and the finishing sprays too. Um, like I said, I have oily skin, but I do not wash in the mornings when I'm going to put on makeup. I wash in the evening and then go to bed. Um, I wash and moisturize and go to bed. And then um, I use the One Drop Wonder around my eye area. And then I put the primer on. So I don't, I don't wash in the mornings. But that's just me. And you will probably have to play around with it and see what works best for you. Okay. Um, what else was it? Powder technique. Squish with the blenderful. What else? Mm. Um, okay. So the blender fruit is $22. The blush is I want to say 22 or $24. The foundation is $36. Um, I have a list here. This is everything that is in um, our starter kit. You get all of these things. And really, if you're wanting to start in with all new Lime Life products, the best way to go is the starter kit, um, which is, you know, you get... $384 worth of product here and the kit is only $170 so it's a really good opportunity <coughs> new new year you want to start a new business or um, bring in some extra money you get all these products you start using them people start asking you hey you look really great oh well thank you so you tell them what you're using and they're like, oh, I want to try that. And then you sell it to all your friends. <clears throat> or your family. Or random people in shopping places. I have... I had a guy at Walmart telling my lipstick looked good the other day. It kind of weirded me out. But, um... That's only started happening since I used Lime Life. Okay. So... This one is Creme Brulee. Very popular color good for um, very daytime activities. Can y'all see? I think it pairs well with the number three blush. Did y'all see how easy that was? Boom. Okay. And then if you're not going to do eye makeup, which, um, you know, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, you can just swatch, swatch. There you go. And then spritz. And you're good for the day. You can also use these, the tip of the blenderful here, to apply um, a little bit of concealer. Swish in there. See that? And yes, I did just spray the finisher spray and then put on more. You can do that with the stuff. It's awesome. What do you think? Did I get rid of my dark circles? And then you can go back in with more powder if you want to. It's 
Set it up. And if you don't like it, give it a swipe. Remove the excess powder. And there you go. What do y'all think about that? So anyway, yeah. We did get the truck running today. We got so much done. We got the truck running because the battery was dead. We charged the battery, ran it around, drove it around for a while. Then we went to the storage building and emptied it out and so we don't have to pay for storage building anymore. And then we sat at home for a couple hours and went to a movie. We went to see Bumblebee. And it was pretty good. As far as, you know, action movies go, I guess. It wasn't terribly rude. <laughs> but anyway. So there's that, guys. Um, I think I want to do another video here in a little while about... Um, some uh, daytime, maybe um, casual work makeup, really light. And or if y'all have any ideas, let me know. I will talk to y'all later. Also, just remember, if you want all the products uh, that you need to get started, it would cost you three hundred eighty-four dollars to get all these, which is. Lipstick, lip gloss, lip liner, lip color, the trio palette, the mascara, uh, eyeliner, cleanser, moisturizer, facial oil, bamboo renew, all for um, $169 for the starter kit, would actually be worth $384. The only thing not in the kit is the foundation which you buy for $36 on its own. Alrighty guys, thank you for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye.